What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing my match review, match reaction and match analysis of Manchester City's victory against Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe to my channel, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links are in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me for, up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Tip top link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Leave a thumbs up, 100 likes is the aim. Do go and check out today's video sponsor which is brought to you by GT Player. GT Player have provided me a discount code JSGC5. You can get 5% off all their products on their website. Links and details there in the description. And thank you to GT Player for sending me this limited edition Manchester City chair that you see featured in all of my videos wow 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 man city leaving it late we thought that was going to be very frustrating for city so firstly how nervous was you let me know in the comments what are your thoughts this title race i've just, I've just got a feeling it's, it's going to be it's going to be one of them isn't it it's just going to be one of them that's just going to be it's going to be exhausting from now till the end of the season it's just going to be exhausting we've had this battle time and time again with Liverpool over the last few seasons this season same story different team City again involved it's gonna be Arsenal uh, not Liverpool we've seen Arsenal flirting with dropping points picking up late winners against Aston Villa and against Bournemouth coming from behind Man City leaving it late in this one as well albeit not as late as what Arsenal have been living, uh, leaving it I don't think my heart would be able to take uh, a couple of matches going right to the distance and into added time to be decided but uh, 78 minutes is probably right on the limit of, of, of my limit of where I want Man City to be leaving it late to be able to find the all important goals and I'll tell you right now I thought it was going to be one of them days I thought it was going to be one of them Nottingham Forest days again where Man City get punished ultimately for not putting their opportunities away plenty of opportunities four minutes in Rodri with a cracking shot good save from the Palace keeper Guetta in goal uh, we saw Jack Grealish go close should have scored uh, we saw Foden go close from a free kick we saw Alvarez when he came on in the second half go close putting the ball over the top of the uh, crossbar Erling Haaland missed a sitter for Manchester City as well Five, six, seven really good opportunities. Opportunities that I'd be expecting Man City to be putting at least half of them away. And City really should have been winning this game by three or four. But we're just at that part of the season where we don't, beggars can't be choosers, we don't want to be fussy. We just want three points. We just want to win this game. And that is what we've been able to do. I've called into question a couple of times. Can Manchester City win 1-0? Well, yes. Yes, they can. Clean sheet. No shots on target from Crystal Palace. Yes, they look frustrated. Yes, they've not won in 2023. And yes, that helped Man City's cause. In terms of a defensive performance, Man City aren't going to have it easier from now until the end of the season. However, this showed a lot of bottle for Manchester City today. This was very easy for Man City to say, we missed our opportunities, we'll come back stronger and we've dropped points today. Didn't happen. Didn't help that the Crystal Palace were caught out from a corner, 77th minute in, and Elise goes, he panics, sees Gundogan in space and thinks there's danger here, I'm going to go and confront it, and lunges in and catches Gundogan, doesn't get the ball, it's a penalty all day long, and it showed incredible bottle, yes, he's the Premier League top goal scorer right now, Erling Haaland, he might have been struggling ever so slightly for some goals over the last five or six weeks or so, however, it's not easy to step up and put that ball into the back of the net. It would have been interesting if Mahrez was on the pitch who would have taken this penalty, but Haaland, he wants to take the penalty. Six penalties now he's taken for Man City, and all six have gone into the back of the net. Albeit, wasn't the greatest of penalties. He just ran up, put the ball into the back of the net, the keeper went the wrong way, and sometimes that's a simple equation when it comes to penalties. However, keeper goes the right way. It's a very savable penalty from Erling Haaland, but I am not complaining at all. When you're desperate for a goal and you're needing the three points, you take them any way that you can. And when we thought there was just going to be one of them games and frustrating games that we've been getting time and time again this season, we just keep showing that we have turned that page, that we have gone round the corner and we are now a team that aren't dropping points in these situations. We are finding that goal. We're not conceding that goal. We're limiting teams 
to not just very little, we've been limiting teams to nothing at all and Man City need to take confidence from this. The only downside we've got from this victory is we've not got any Premier League action now for three weeks. We've got the momentum. We're two points behind Arsenal. The pressure, it's on to them. West London, Fulham away. Fulham sitting in the top half of the Premier League. They've got some confidence. They're going to show no fear against Arsenal. That is not an easy game for Arsenal. They cannot afford to drop any points. They need to beat Fulham. They need to beat Crystal Palace at home next week, Arsenal. They must. They want to win the Premier League. They must win them games. And that's the key here. It's no longer Man City must win them games. We've done it. We've done all we can now until we play again on April 1st against Liverpool. Now, Arsenal need to do the business. Pressure is on to them. And as I was saying in my live watch along, pressure will do a funny thing in this Premier League title. We just need Arsenal to drop points once between now and us facing them in the Premier League. That's all we need. And Man City win the rest of our games. We're playing sailing. It's back into our own hands. If we can have a favour of Fulham and or Crystal Palace next week, that would be fantastic. Focus for City now. We'll move on past Sunday's game with Arsenal taking on Fulham away from home. It'll move on to the Champions League. My analysis, we need to be more clinical. We need to be better. RB Leipzig, they picked up a 3-0 win against Munchen Gladbach at home today. Very cool, confident performance. Three second half goals for them. They'll be raring to go for that game. And let's not forget that is a winner-takes-all game at the Etihad on Tuesday night. There isn't much recovery time for either team. They're going to be flat out. They're going to be exhausted. Everything's on the line. It's a huge game. It's a potential season-defying game for Man City. All this confidence that we're taking, our heads can easily go if we end up going out on Tuesday evening. It's a huge, huge game. We need to be clinical. We need to be strong defensively. RB Leipzig will have a pop. Kevin De Bruyne looked sharp when he came on. There'll be space for him to work with. It's going to be a very interesting, very attacking game. Looking forward to it, but also bricking it as well. Uh, that's uh, that, I'll speak more about that as, uh, as the week goes on as we approach that game. But City... They need, to, they need to celebrate this. This needs to be celebrated. Coming to Selhurst Park, a ground that we've not had great success at over the years, and winning, whilst not playing particularly well, and limiting our opponents to nothing, keeping a clean sheet, and getting three points. I can't ask for any more. I cannot ask for any more. City can win 1-0. Man City are well up for this Premier League title race. We've got a very interesting finale to the Premier League title race. 11 massive Premier League Cup finals coming up for Manchester City. All pressure now onto Arsenal. And as I said, they need to beat Fulham and they need to beat Crystal Palace next week as well. We'll see how they get on. City done everything they can right now. They picked up the win. Two points behind. We've got superior goal difference to Arsenal. We've still got to face Arsenal at the Etihad as well. We're well in this title race. So if we can get a favour over the next couple of weeks, that could just be the big momentum turn that we need to have that big push through April and into May as well they're my thoughts do let me know your thoughts ladies and gentlemen in the comments below also don't forget to leave a thumbs up 100 likes is the aim subscribe if you're new around here press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on uh, also don't forget social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries tiktok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there and finally a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by GT Player.
you guys all again as we build up to that big RB Leipzig game. Massive three points is for Manchester City. I cannot stress the importance of this three points for Manchester City. I am buzzing. I'm delighted with this win. Absolutely delighted. This has ticked some boxes that I was concerned about. Can we win 1-0? Yes. Can we keep clean sheets? Can we limit our teams? Not to just very little. Can we limit them to nothing? Yes. Can we pick up a difficult three points? South London, Selhurst Park against Crystal Palace. Yes. Job done from Manchester City. Lots to learn and improve on. Lots to look forward to as well. I'll see you all again real soon. I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.